welcome to my videos myself ashwin nayak from today let we start 9th standard social science in the geographical part chapter 3 climate soil natural vegetation and animal life karnataka in this chapter in my class we have to previous studying to that the climates of this karnataka so mainly in this chapter the concept of climate so karnataka has tropical monsoon climate the main characteristic of this climate are not hot and moist summer and cool and dry winters but there is a diversity in the climate of this state the main reason for this diversity are in the influence of the geographical location oceans physical features vegetation and monsoon winds hence the annual temperature and the distributions of this rains are not the same all over the state so we can classify the climate of this karnataka over the period of this one year we can be done with the climate into the the four parts at the first one the summer season second one the rainy season third one the period of nutriting monsoon and then fourth one the winter season so this and then the distributions of this rainfall the mallard and the coastal plains the receiving the the heavy rainfall the eastern maidans are also the area is to the low rainfall so after drought then floods occur due to the the uneven and uncertain to the the rainfalls of karnataka so these are all information we have to study in our previous class but still today let me start the the concept soil the soil of our karnataka the top thin layer of this earth the surface is called the that is the soil the fertile soil is essential for this agriculture there is a the different kinds of soil in karnataka the soil of karnataka have been classified into the, the four types okay look at this and the first one that is the red soil and then black soil and the third one the laterite soil and then coastal alluvial soil so in these four types we have to see is of soil distributed in the distributed in the karnataka and then first we have to take into the the first one the red soil so this types of the soil is obtained from the weathering of the granite and these jeans it contains to the the iron oxide and hence to the red in the color okay look at this the contents to the iron oxide it is to the in the rich in iron line in the soil but the contents the small amounts of this humus it is lights has thin layer and it is not ever to the, the fertilizer its capacity of this moisture the retentions to the less it is the widely distributed in the the karnataka and found more in the the southern of this karnataka and then the ragi jowar bajra milters the pearls 
tobaccos and ground nuts so which are all in the the rain fed crops can be grown in this to the soil okay in this red soil in this peoples it has to grow up on this the ragi look at this and then jowar it means jola and then bajra mills and then pearls kaalgal agirbodu soppugal agirbodu and this to ground nuts and this tobacco tambaku galanna agirbodu ee mandalli en maartare ant helre belita hogtar and then the areas the areas which irrigation the facilities can be grow to the the peddi batta sugar canes kabbu potato alugedde vegetables banana coconut and area nut adike annu kuda en maartare antare in this red soil is to be found in to the some others areas so especially at this red soil in the found in to the the tumkur bengaluru ramnagar chikkabellapura kolara chamrajnagar mandya and in mysore districts in this side we have to see there it is to the fully covered to the the red soil and in second steps we have to go to the the black soil look at that at the soil color is to be in the black this kinds of the soil is formed by the weathering of the basalt rocks okay look at this basalt rock it is in the rich in the aluminium the magnesium and oxide for this iron the hence it is black in color it is also called a the black cotton soil so this soil has ability to retain the moisture for the many days since it is rich in soil the nutrients nutrition nutrition a varieties of this crop can be grow in the can be grow in this the soil so which are the crops it has to growing on this black soil okay look at that since it is to the the for example the cotton jowar the maize sunflower chilli and this paddy it means batta the pearls and onion so this type of this soil it is to the the ex extensively to the farm in this districts of this the north karnataka for example the darwad gadag ballari koppala kalburgi yadgiri bagalkote belagavi and chitradurga so in this areas we have to see to that in the black soil it is to be found in some other the northern karnataka and the next we have to go to the the third one the laterite soil so in this laterite soil idu now jambittige athwa jedi mannu anthe idu now karithe so in this soil this kinds of this soil it is to be found on by the receiving to the the heavy rain and have to that high temperature heavy rain and then high temperature in this side we have to found to that this kind of this laterite soil and in water slopes the lime and silicates dissolved in the rain water the settled down in the the lower layers in this soil it is contains to the the iron aluminum so which are non slopes and remain in the top layers we have to see there in the remains in the the top layer the soil became the soft during this rainy season and drink salt during the summer the leading to the the formations of this the laterite soil
this rod is used to the the construction to the purpose okay look at this jd mannu ant heli karte in this soil we have to construct to the some others box shapes to the soil and then ready to for the build the house yeah look at that this is the the laterite soil in this kinds of the soil is found in this areas which have to the, the heavy rainfall and have to the, the high temperature the water slope lines and silicates dissolve in the rain water settle down into the the lower level yeah and the next so the soil became to the soft during rainy season and dries up to the during the summer the leading to the formations to the the laterite rocks this rocks is used to the construction purpose and then the cashews the coffee tea cardamom the pepper rubber and coconut and other commercial crops are grow up in this oil soil so in this soil we have to see the into the found to the the uttar kannada udupi dakshina kannada kodagu chikmagaluru shumoga and then belagavi we have to see the have more of the soil to spread on this covered in this areas and then next one the fourth one the coastal alluvial soil okay this type of the soil is formed along to the the coast due to the dispersions of aluminium and sediments carried by this river and then sea waves okay look at this the coastal alluvial soil okay this types of the soil it is to be formed along to the, the coastal due to the disposition of deposition of aluminium and sediments carried by this river and the sea waves such as to the coastal districts of this karnataka like that udupi dakshina kannada uttara kannada have this type of the soil we have to see there in the place the soil the consist of the sand and clay it is very rich of organic nutrition so which are the organic nutrition nutrients for example the paddy it means batha cashews godambis coconut tenga agirbodu arakanad it is the adike agirbodu and then banana and other crops to well in this types of this soil so in this coastal lines we have to see the the most of the soil is the coastal alluvial soil so in this four types of this soil we have to see in the karnataka it is to the the top thin layers of this earth to surface is called the that is the soil the fertile soil is essential for this agriculture there are the kinds of the soil in karnataka this four types so which are the the four classified into the four types at one the red soil and then black soil 
and then laterite soil and then coastal alluvial soil so in this class we have studied the the types of soil and his and this so in this soil so which are the crops he has to growing to the people in this uh, north karnataka and then south karnataka and then distributions to the soil in this karnataka okay in my next class we have to study to the the natural vegetation and then animal resource of this karnataka okay thank you for watching this read well and do good to the homework